the drink guys i will be drinking the stella rosa black my favorite wine i haven't had it in a long time a very you got to get lit of one drink literally one sip honestly take me there to the moon the questions that they asked though they weren't really like non drinkable like drinkable questions want to so. ask some off the dome we can that'll be good okay that'll be nice Let's switch it up for sure. I think we should do that anyway. That'll be dope. Cause I already got some crazy shit in my head. But we still gotta we still gotta answer what they asked us. Okay, that's cool. And I'm drinking this, y'all. Casa Migos. Let's see. I what ain't it messing do. with that at all. Let's see what it do. Maybe I don't know. Me and Heart Liquor. They don't know. I'm letting y'all know. I hate when she get drunk sometimes, y'all. When she used to. She Babe used to get so upset when I was drunk. I never do that. Oh, God. Because she get all like, what? like out of body, like she, like you can't control your liquor. I get emotional. Yeah. I don't get out of body. I don't like start running wild and tearing up shit. But you get like sluggish and you do too. You get loud and like you said, emotional. I'm either really goofy or I'm emotional. All right, so. But we gonna go ahead and get into this video because we ain't about to have a debate on how I am when I get drunk. And she act like she ready to do a story time. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been a while. Yeah, so we gonna get straight into this video, y'all. Y'all already know I like to get right into it. Um. So the first question is, are y'all planning to do second parent adoption? That's not really a truth to drink question. But it's still a good question. We'll People still want to know. Like, yes. Yes, we are. Yes. Planning on doing second parent adoption. ASAP. Definitely. ASAP. ASAP. Um, next question. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> what is one thing you don't like about each other, but you put up with it because you love each other? <laughs> first I'm gonna go first because this is something that I was just recently thinking in my head all right y'all so everybody know we got kids now whatever so some things you really just don't even notice that you're doing but babe y'all has been driving me crazy <laughs> she will like she'll come and make her some chips and just leave the chip bag on the counter. <laughs> She'll come um I don't know, just little stuff like little stuff you've been doing, just leaving shit. But in my defense, you know <laughs> why. Usually I be rushing because I'm either yeah. on break or lunch. Yeah. So I feel like hopefully you'll get it. I mean I can actually I do get it. I right. don't I don't say nothing. I just noticed that you do it a lot more lately. Yeah. I feel and like another my mind thing, be like, I'd be like, damn, I gotta get this, get that, get some quick, and you feel me? Yeah. And do you another, feel like I only do it during my work hours, or do you think I do it after hours? I think you do it throughout the day. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think because I feel like you'll be doing something, and then one of the kids will distract you from it, and mm -hmm. then you'll leave it. Yeah, that's fair. Go ahead. You said another your thing. Turn. No, no, that's it. Ahead. That's it. Say that's it. the biggest thing. Say, say the next one. Well, we had a little disagreement about the other night. What? You using my dry towel. Oh, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I hate my towel to be, I hate wet towels. So, they've been using my dry towel. And when I got in the shower, I was like, what towel do you be using? Because she passed it to me. And she was like, that one. And I'm like, that's my towel. But it didn't go like that. 
Oh yeah, she gave me her towel. And I was like, that's not mine. And I'm like, but it's dry. You don't like wet towels. And she like, I want like, my towel. not my towel. I want my dry towel. So she handed me mine and it was wet. And I'm like, you use this towel? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, why you using my towel? Why you, you ain't use your own towel? And that is a good, I'm glad you said that because <laughs> that brings me to something <laughs> that bothers me about Faye. She loves the word mine. Like that literally drives me crazy because we're one, like ain't none yours no more. Like we're one. I'm, and I'm not saying she can't have her own independence. Don't get too deep in it, but when it comes to certain things like food, what, like food, drinks, but the thing, she snacks. like that. She like to put the word my on it, and I'm like, no, because babe, listen, if we buy a snack, she gets a snack. She like, I get the snacks. I like. After her snacks gone, mine's still in the cabinet. She go kill okay, it. Babe, let's be honest. My snacks is never gone before yours. No, they are. No. Yes. <laughs> Lately, lie. they have been. Or even if they not. That's a lie. You'll eat my snack before you eat yours. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, that's one thing that really bothers <laughs> me about her. Like, even with the towel situation, I'm like, is it that you didn't want to use my towel? Because if it's a dry towel and you don't want to use a wet towel, I'm giving you the dry one. What was the... My whole thing is, I have my dry towel, you got your dry, dry towel. Why you use my dry towel instead of your But own? I told her we have white towels, y'all. We only so use white towels. So I don't really care. Like, I don't think... We keep our towels on the same rack. So I don't think, oh, let me make sure this is mine. Like, it don't matter to me, but it matters to her. So now I keep my towel in the in the um, Separate closet. place. Yeah, so we don't have those issues. Another thing that <laughs> drives me crazy about my wife is that when I'm trying to sleep or get some rest, she likes to have the TV on loud enough where it will wake me up. And then when I tell her that it's too loud, she goes, well, I won't be able to hear it or it's not. And I'm like, if it's waking me up in my sleep, it got to be loud. <laughs> the TV will be on the same level that it was on when she fell asleep. She just so happened to wake up and realize that the TV's still on, and she really just want me to cut it off. So she say no, it's too loud. I, don't be to I had a TV off. on three, and she be like, "It's loud." I be like, "Well, I can't hear it. I might as well go to bed. We're not sleeping." But I be telling her like, listen to stuff like with your AirPods or on your phone. Right. Like, oh, I'm on, not... we, we done spent too much time on this <laughs> question. You know what I'm saying? That's true though. She want me to put air, connect my AirPods to the TV, which I've actually done once before for her, and it kept disconnecting. But I'm saying for me to get rest, like I feel like you just sometimes don't be taking that into into consideration, and I'm trying to get rest. Well, I'll, I'll start taking it into consideration. Maybe because she had a remote. Maybe I'll go in a, a, the other room. Yeah, she had a remote turning up and down when it get louder or lower. Like, <laughs> girls, like, I'll hey. be trying not to wake up. Yeah, that's and she addicted to the TV. Like, I can't sleep without the TV on. Yeah, one more thing. Oh my god, <laughs> that's three. One more thing. Y'all, she never replaces a tissue. She actually did it, like, I think two days ago. But she always leaves the tissue roll empty. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, now the tissue is, like, directly in front of us. Like, in the bathroom, I can just grab it. But she never puts the tissue roll. I don't. I will leave that last little bit of tissue. I'll be like, it's still enough out there for you to go ahead and yeah. do what you need to do. So that was it. That wasn't too bad. Is it anything else about me? Not that I can think of right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is some advice you can give to someone trying to become a YouTuber? Um, just honestly, do it. Yeah, just being consistent. That's pretty much it. Starting. I mean, right, I can't really say be consistent because we're not. But, but that's what you that's need what to you, do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just start it. Come up with ideas and just, just get to it. If you got a, a camera phone... And you got a laptop to edit. If you got an iPhone, you can use iMovie on your iPhone to edit. Just start. That's pretty much it. Create your channel. Get the ideas in your head that you want to put out. And yeah, that's do another it. thing. You gotta have like ideas in mind. You want to keep your audience like intrigued. intrigued for sure. So the next the next question is, y'all, are we close? Are we close to B's family? Yes. Drum roll. <laughs> Yes, we are. We are. Y'all, 
my side of the family, well, my mom's side of the family. I'm sorry, I just cut you off. Go ahead. What you was about to say? Go ahead. I don't want you to forget. I ain't gonna forget. My mom's side of the family <coughs> pretty much all live in Memphis, Tennessee, um, in Mississippi, so I don't really get to see them often. Um, and then my dad's side of the family, um, my siblings I'm close with, but like pretty much everyone else I don't really have a relationship with like that. Yeah, I was just gonna say we don't like when we go see Brit's family. Like when we go to Memphis, we ch we try to tell ourselves that we're gonna record, but we be caught up like in the moment. Like yeah. we don't really think with with me. I guess y'all probably asking that because y'all probably see a lot of my family. Mm -hmm. Like we around my family all the time, and so, they live right up the street, right? and they know we <laughs> you know they know we record and you know so. Yeah. They already know like what to expect, but we don't want to like go down there just to put a camera in their face. Like, right. man, we was down there for like a week, but um, yeah, we close to Brit's family for sure. We 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 close enough. Yeah, we close enough. Um, <laughs> this one is funny. So it's I guess two people ask. One person said, "Who takes the the strap?" <laughs> oh, and somebody else said, "Y'all in obvious." <laughs> <laughs> Does J and B both take the strap? <laughs> you not gonna say? You shame? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just want a drink. Like I feel like we ain't had a drink. No, nah, you can take a drink. You don't gotta die. I'm gonna, gonna answer. Gonna change your man. Yeah, I'm still gonna answer. Are you right? So y'all, about that. Do you take the strap? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know I don't take no strap. Um, but. Do you? <laughs> Do you I thought you was about to tell them, but <laughs> what? I be tearing that thing now. Let me stop. All right. So, babe, she used to take it, but we haven't used a strap in like years. Like four years, honestly. Yeah. Like, I've been fine without it, honestly. So, yeah. But we haven't even really spoke it. about it. No, we haven't. Not a child mentioned it. It wouldn't hurt to bring, you know, or, to bring that back in the bed. Go ahead and take your drink. <laughs> Because now you tripping. You want to get him a bonus about like what? what you what you did? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought you was about to talk about. As Talking a, about my babe. A bonus um, answer is... Let me want, tell him. Tell him. Because you smiling so hard <laughs> right now. Like, you want to get it out so bad. <laughs> yeah, oh. so babe, actually let me... I feel like you cringing on the inside. <laughs> Babe actually let me strap her once. Just one time. I wanna I wanted her to get it out of her system, y'all. Like and sometimes And it was amazing, but she she's not she's not with it. She be trying to like tell me that's what she wanna do sometimes and I'd be like, mm. and I mean, I'm like a a Britney's please. I'm not gonna say a woman please, but I'm, I'm my wife's pleaser. Like, I want to do whatever pleases her. Um, and I want to do whatever she's comfortable with. So, if she says she's not, then we going to cut it out. But Yeah. And that was in, like, what, 2014? Oh. That was so. That was, like, that was at the first, beginning. Yeah. yeah like, the first, first year started. of our relationship. And I was thirsty. I'm like, can I please? Let yeah. me, let me, let me. I'm like, come on. We went and picked one out and everything. <laughs> I was so thirsty. That was. That Don't was, even know if I was, if I was doing it right. I mean, I don't. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Next question. I feel like I want to drink. Just like, drink. Yeah. Yeah, I also got some ginger ale to go with my casa. I just want to drink, no. Yeah, I ain't asking no like, juicy questions. questions that I wouldn't want to tell. She, she got some in there. Yeah. I'm a little worried about her question. Cause she ready. She came ready. I ain't even come ready. I came with the questions that y'all. I asked. honestly just started like a whole bunch of questions just started popping up in my head. You want to write them down so you don't mm -hmm. forget? All right. You want to ask them now? Well, we can ask the people. Answer the people questions. You first. gonna forget, baby? I'm your not. Right. Don't say that. Just keep going. Have you ever ran into the issue of not being treated equally as mom to the children, considering you both carry? drink because I don't really want to speak on that because it's a certain person that I just feel like 
I want to be respectful. So yeah. You gonna drink? Yeah. Um. That's your first drink. I like 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 two years. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm addicted. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> um. I don't think so. Not, I mean, at the hospital when, I think when, when Zane was born mm. and they asked me to show proof that we were married. Mm. Remember, she was like, are we married? And I feel like... She can ask, She asked you to show proof? She, says, she just asked if we were. Before I could sign it. But like when yeah. a guy and a, and a female is at the hospital, they don't ask the guy, like, are you guys married? So that kind of really rubbed me the wrong way. But other than yeah. that... So far, so good, y'all. Um, but that's why we do want to get into the second parent adoption. So no matter what, even yeah, though no we problem. both carry each child, um, yeah, we don't have any any type of issues for sure. And we don't we don't think that nothing. I'm sure we're gonna run into something, but so far we've been good, mainly because we really be in the house. Our kids right. be in the house, like. I have encountered a few things with a certain somebody, but I'm not gonna talk about it. Okay. Good. Proud of you, baby. <laughs> um, do y'all plan on having any more children to add to your beautiful family? Thank you. Thank you. And when is the wedding? And will, and will it be vlogged? Adding y'all, more children is a wrap. Unless it's cousins, nieces. That's know, a wrap. Next door neighbors, kids. We no. actually talked about this. God babies, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, we. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Y'all, we, um, yeah, we're pretty tied up with the babies that we have. We, we you know. Tied up, not even the, we, the word. We think two are enough. We are locked down. Yeah. No more. Because three or four, like, what if we get pregnant and then it's multiples? That's like, what I said. Nah. Mm -mm. We cool on the kids. <laughs> two is enough. Um, we do want to have a wedding, y'all. So, as y'all know, yes. we got married. What was it last year? 2021? No. 2020, 2020, we got married oh, okay. 5-2020. Mm -hmm. I was eight months pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, so we're coming up on being together for 10 years. Next year, we'll be together for 10 years. And we want to have like a ceremony mm -hmm. just so we can have something to look back look back on yeah because we had a um we went to the courthouse and got married during a pandemic right like, during the pandemic couldn't even bring our phones in right. so we don't even have pictures from that day i got like one picture Barely. we weren't even like dressed up or nothing and i had on a, like a sweatshirt but i did cry like, like saying our vows mm -hmm. like i was emotional yeah it was very emotional. emotional. And then the guy who married us, like, he was, like, real cool. So he made us comfortable because we were only, obviously, the same sex couple now. But it was, like, seven other couples that got married that day. Yeah, we were the last ones. And we were so mad because they had their phones out. But they told us absolutely no, phones. no phone. Like, we couldn't, like, they told us we couldn't even bring them in the courthouse. So we kept them, we left them in the car. But, yeah, y'all, we do plan on having a ceremony. So if you want to invite, comment below. <laughs> Um, what is the best part and worst part about being parents? What is the most embarrassing thing that your parents has done to you and why? Okay, so what was the first question? What's the What's best the... and the worst part about being parents? The best part is being able to, one, create a human. For sure. I agree. Um, two, create memories. Three, create traditions just for your little family. And just being able to have that one little person call you mommy and mama. Yeah. Watching like, them, watching watching them grow. grow. Just everything about it. Yeah. Knowing that, like, somebody depend on you. All right. Like, and you got to you gotta get up and... You make every decision for this little person. Exactly. Until they become of age to yeah. make their own decisions. Like, it's pretty dope. It is. It's an Indeed. amazing feeling to be a parent. We love mommyhood. <laughs> and uh, the cons, what they say? The worst part. <laughs> The no worst sweet, part, no sex. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Barely no, eating. No date night. No eating. No showering. <laughs> no cooking. <laughs> oh man, um, they just went in. <laughs> what else? 
No, no adult, no adult interactions. Just, just, just babies. It's just us and the babies. That's like, it. And we love our babies, but yeah, I mean, and oh it's goodness. not, it's not the worst, but. And it's just the danger. Yeah. So, <laughs> because, the paranoia, like. Because Callie is dangerous. Yeah, the and anxiety. Zane, he is mobile now, somewhat. Like, yeah. he's scooting, so he's getting there. So, yeah. Um, Anxiety through the roof. You gotta be some motion. I think that's enough. I'm pretty sure you um, hit all 20 points. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the most embarrassing thing that your parents have done to you and why? Um, I'll go. I remember when I first started my cycle, like, when I got to my grandma's house, like, my everybody knew. Like, I started at school. I and my grandma was like, that. come here. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, please don't make this awkward, grandma. Yeah, please. Like, that was, that was. For me, oh my God. So, I think I was 12 or 13. Now I'm about to drink because I just, I just. Right? At been, this point. Y'all ain't acting like juicy. Well, I don't, right. Um, when I was like 12 or 13, I remember I had a boyfriend and. I remember I had gave him my house number. I don't know why I did that. My mom was like, you are not dating until you're in high school, so don't even think about it. And my mama did not play. So I call myself having a little boyfriend <laughs> and he decides that he wanna call my house at like eight o'clock at night on a school night at that. Mm -hmm. He had his friend call, so he called. My mom answered the phone. He asked for me. <laughs> and I guess she, um, I don't know what she said to him, but he hung up and then he called back and she answered again. And then she called me and was like, the phone is for you. So I get on the phone and he was like, my homeboy said, why you, why you was acting funny with him at school today? Why you were acting like you didn't, y'all wasn't together, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't know that my mom was on the other phone listening. So I hung up just because I didn't want to talk about it because I couldn't answer it because right. I'm not even supposed to have a boyfriend. Exactly. So my mom, she was like, I just heard what he said. She said, call him back and don't um, tell them that I'm on the phone. She was like, is that your boyfriend? I'm like, no, I don't have a boyfriend. So she was like, okay, we'll call him back there. So I'm like, oh my God. So I call him back and he get on the phone. And he was like, hey, he was like, I was just wondering why you was acting the way you was acting today. Why you acting like I'm not your boyfriend? Why you act like we don't go together? And I was like, why would you say that? <laughs> My mama was like, that's your ass. And then she was like, this is Brittany's mother. She is not old enough to have a boyfriend. I I forgot what all she said, but she went in on the boy and he just hung up. And I was like, oh my God. So what happened when you got to school? He didn't say nothing to me and I didn't oh. say nothing to him. <laughs> we felt like, man, you a little girl. <laughs> I was a little girl. You a little girl, man. My mama was so bogus for that. Like, you could have just talked to me after the fact. Like, you ain't have to blow up my spot. That's funny. What's the hardest part of having two small kiddos, and what's the best part of having each other? Oh, the oh, sweet. The hardest, the hardest part, part is the two under two. Yeah, and making sure that we're like a present for both of them. Like yeah. for an example, I don't know if y'all um, watched our Q and A, but Zane, he's a booby boy. Like he want to be on his mom boob. He's breastfed. <laughs> yeah, breastfed. I call him booby boy. We call yeah. him booby boy. But yeah, he's breastfed, so he's super attached. But I still try to, like, get a little, like, I don't want to say aggressive, but I'd be like, you know, like, mommy, you want to spend time with you too, boy? Like, let me put him to sleep, or I just want to be present equally for both of them. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, like, um, she is, like... Man, people say like terrible twos coming. I'm trying to see what is it now because What's, what is the 19 months called? She is something else. Oh my god, yeah, she is like a little ping pong ball. That's what I call her because <laughs> she is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she is 
she is everywhere, up and down, everywhere. But she is a really like she is a sweetheart. She is sweetheart. And she, she she's is very a smart. Born. <laughs> <laughs> she's a natural born helper. Oh, so man. she want to help with everything. Yeah, but she just help with the wrong <laughs> shit. <laughs> like yeah, for an example, if we cook it, <laughs> yeah, we bought her a whole stove in there. She want to come to our stove and, and like and try danger, danger. <laughs> she wanna, she wanna, she wanna turn our dishwasher on. Danger, danger. She wanna turn our dishwasher on and off. She wants to play with the real stuff. Yes. She wanna do what she we're like, doing. Exactly. Like, she like, don't give me these toys and keep talking about even oh. like like spray and shit like Lysol, like that type of shit. She wanna go spray it and try to clean it. She wanna get the plunger and fucking like plunge the toilet. She wanna do everything she see as Literally doing. like Q tips. She wanna use Q tips. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much, y'all. It's and oh, y'all. So we got I a back did. mop. Y'all know the back mop. You back and then y'all. She would grab that and spray the whole bottle. <laughs> y'all, I promise y'all. You come out the room. <laughs> it's a big ass puddle. <laughs> and then she don't know. She thinking she helping. <laughs> what she do? Because right now we can mop the whole floor. Next she to just. <laughs> <laughs> And it's so funny if she hit the vacuum, she take off. <laughs> Y'all, we bought her a vacuum, we bought her a mop, we bought her a broom, we bought her a dustbin. <laughs> oh, she, kitchen. She literally want our stuff. That's, like, she know how to open the drawers. <laughs> like, yeah, chip. <laughs> oh, the remote is hers. <laughs> Like this whole crib no, the is the TVs the are TV. hers. She want to take the bitches down. <laughs> oh, I don't feel myself. <laughs> she don't see this when she get older. Like that was me. Yes, sure. <laughs> oh yeah, her snacks. Oh yeah, she she oh, get whatever yeah. snacks she wants. Right, like, she she's going not to gonna let us get offer her. <laughs> And earlier, I meant to tell you, I'm eating my Oreo cookies. I give her a half of Oreo cookies. She throw it on the floor, come over there and grab my whole cookie. Yeah, she, don't like, like, she don't like half of nothing. Like She, she wants the, the whole thing. <laughs> because I cut her some grapes. <laughs> she was mad at me. She threw them like, I think it's one still under the freaking stove. <laughs> she, she don't like her high chair. Like, <laughs> You gonna get off my door, huh? Okay, alright, alright. Um, she is heaven sent for sure. <laughs> love you guys. We love you too. We love too. you too. Um, question How does pregnancy and same sex relationship affect sex life? <clears throat> pregnancy? Sex? When I was Can pregnant. Can we say that word on here? I don't know. We don't really say it. Often. When I was pregnant, I was ready. She was scared. But I was scared for a lot of reasons. She was scared when she was pregnant, and she was scared when I was pregnant. I'm like, no, I wasn't scared when I was pregnant. I just, yes, I don't were. think I had the urge. Why was I scared? You was like the baby. <laughs> <laughs> you just kept saying the baby. Like, I feel like I'm straining. Or... <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, no. when we did have, and of course. It was it was the same. It didn't affect us. Like if that's what you mean. Like was the positions awkward? No, we did the same positions. Even probably some more cooler ones. <laughs> okay. Have any of you ever really been hurt by something one another has said or done that had you question your relationship at one point? What was it and how did you move on? Um I don't really know. Probably just that one situation where we did the story time that you always bring up. Yeah. When I said that's maybe because we don't need to be together. Right. Technically, they broke up with me, so yeah. yeah because for like six hours. I'm the not type, even probably like three hours. I'm the type of person I was like Babe has really like helped me mature on a relationship status. On a relationship side, I was the type of person that 
if something wasn't going my way, then it's not meant for us to be. Like, let's just yeah. break up. I always pitched it like, well, we probably just don't, ain't meant to be together. Right. Well, really, it's something easily resolvable. So, she That's always bring that up. I was like 24 at the time. Like, so yeah, I apologize. But we talked it out and we forgave each other and we moved on. Yeah, something about you. Why you gotta look down? I'm just trying to size you up. Mm. I'm trying to think. What was it? You think? What have I ever told you it was something that like made me question our relationship? Um, probably like when I y'all. Let so me tell y'all. I have about dreams that they cheat on me sometimes. Oh, and I really like before. Yeah. I really used to get mad. <laughs> Yeah, and it's I not even wake, funny. I will wake up pissed. Like she will wake up not talking to me. I had a dream you cheated. I'm like, okay. Then one time, babe, got real mad and was like, "If that's what you want to believe, then you believe it." And all from a dream. Yeah, yeah. She tried. She yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that because that. And I never, ever, ever gave her a reason. To like come at me like that, like okay, you can tell me you had the dream, but when you start questioning, well, <laughs> what are true? you doing? Or like sometimes you do like. Have y'all ever something. did that before to y'all partner? I know somebody done did it before. Had a dream and had the question. I'm like, why am I having this dream now? Some questions that probably don't seem like they kind of weird to you, but sometimes I feel like you be asking me, she like like I'm being suspicious or. Mm. And that kind of bothered me a little bit because I'm like, I've been a hundred with you since we've been together. Like, sure. I don't have shit. Can't nobody come and tell her nothing about our relationship. At all. I and keep same. it a buck. So when she do me like that, I'm like, that kind of like, yeah, like throw me off. Like, like y'all wondering what I'm eating. A <laughs> bag full of sugar. So yeah, that I'm glad you mentioned that. Because I really don't like when you do that. I don't do it no more. Yeah. I had a dream like that the other day and I just told her. But another, I ain't get mad. Another thing, like, well, I ain't even, I'm gonna just drink. <laughs> I'm gonna drink. What's the next question? Stop trying to expose me. <laughs> have, have any of you dated men at some point in your life? Or did you always know you were a lesbian? Please forgive me if it's too personal. No, oh, she's so sweet. But it's not too personal. No. Um, yes, all the way through high school, I did date little boys. <laughs> I have dated men as well. You dated boys. little boys. Yeah, I've dated boys. Wasn't well, um, nothing serious. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you would sleep with each other's exes to save one another? Let me not. Would I sleep with your ex to save you? Mm-hmm. That's disturbing, first of you all. Don't want you don't want that energy. <laughs> you don't want that. I don't even have an ex. Let's start there. So you're like, I, yeah. I said, I'm oh, just saying that. You don't want my ex energy or the past. So the question was, because they forgot, would you have sex with <laughs> one of my exes to save me? to save you I would yeah um, I just do a quick one two and haul ass out of there right like what would I have to do sex right. like because sex could be too? sex could be a lot of things it could <laughs> so yeah I would it's just disturbing to even think about it it is are you really happy with each other yes daddy daddy yes we, we are, are. <laughs> Luckily, I wouldn't have it no other way with nobody else. For um, sure. Can't even think about it. Can't even fathom. Can't even. All day. Can't even dream it. All day. I dream that she been with somebody else, but I can't dream me being with nobody else. <laughs> it's like question. it's like she like she dreaming it into existence. Like mm -hmm. I'm saying, it's like you. I don't want to say you want me to like do it, but it's like why do why you keep having these dreams? I don't know. You gotta ask my mom. That's man weird. There. Um. So the next question is: Do either of you miss the feeling of a man, of a man even with using a strap on? 
No. Hell no. So. To the no, no, no. I've never let a guy um, penis me down. say the D. I, I thought you was gonna say penetrate. Yeah, I've never been penetrated by a man or a, a boy or whatever. Like, no, so I wouldn't. Oh, you could have said D me down. <laughs> and even if <laughs> <laughs> and even if I did, I don't like, y'all, let me tell y'all something. When I was dating boys, I was like, I wasn't I'm into a baby. Them. And I wasn't into them. Like, they just used to irritate me. Like, I used to be so mean. And I'm like, this is not it. Like, the, the times I tried to be, like, that type of intimate with a guy, I'm like, no. Nah, and nah. never made it. Right. Never made it to the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> they all left with blue balls. Literally. <laughs> but me? that's a good question for you since you actually have been with a guy and you've been strapped. I've been with boys. And no. I do not miss it at all. Nah. Let's do it I can do without for sure. Mm. Next question. All right. Um, did I answer all them? All right. How would we feel if one kid only called one of us mommy and not the other? So like, if Zane called only you mom, or, or is only mom? you mom, and then Anna. I feel away because like I'm your mama too. Yeah. But I mean, I would just correct them every time they did it. Right. I wouldn't be mad, and I'm like, I'm just kidding when I'm saying I'll feel away. Like. I'll just try to... But that's how they're being brought up anyway, so they won't know anything other than that. Right. Unless somebody tried to, you know, whisper something in our baby's ears and then, you know, yeah. it's war time. Yeah, for sure. Because <laughs> one thing about our babies, we don't play about them. At all. Um, who understands the baby when she talks more? So, Zaya is talking. She talk all day. Oh, my God. She, she will talk your ears off yeah. like this. But literally, she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Um, I, I think like, you understand her more. I feel like I catch things more. Cause you be like, she just said, and I be like, oh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but you be catching things too sometimes. Yeah. Is it now? You? Yeah. Okay. Now she's starting to say, oh my gosh. And I don't know where she got that from. I'm still trying to figure out when do we say that. Cause we say, oh my goodness. Okay. And then she also be like, jeez. Yeah. She say, jeez. She, she say, get that ma. from you. Yeah. Oh she my goodness. She scream, ma. She wake up like, ma. 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 After her nap, ma. 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 Where you at? She say, where you at? Yeah. So what you doing? But I feel like you understand her more. Certain yeah, questions. I agree. And it's the last question. When was the last time I clapped them cheeks, baby? All right. <laughs> it's been about three weeks, baby. <laughs> Has it been three weeks? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Maybe even four. Say swell. Swell. <laughs> I swear. I feel like it's been two weeks. It has not been two weeks. Why you feel like that? Cause. Cause what? Oh. I'll what was wait. two weeks ago? Christmas? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's been three weeks. Yeah. You acting like you, you be you be ready. I mean. <laughs> She ever like she be hot and ready to go Not for the kids. Not little Caesars. <laughs> she be the main one going to sleep, G. Cause your kids are tired. Right. So I, I mean, we both got to step our game up, honestly. Yeah, because y'all, like this. I'm just mommy. Mommy hood is a different type of hood. Okay. We be on the block all day, man. All day. Won't ever get off the corner. Exactly. <laughs> but we gonna get better, y'all. Like 
Why you sound so sad? Because three weeks is a long time. Hell yeah. Tell me about it. Damn. We gonna change that for sure. I like the sound of that. I can't wait to see. I can't the wait to hear the sound of. Alright, next. Of love. <laughs> Goodbye. That's What's it. The... That's it. So now ask Now it's question. time for my question. So you want to do two each? How many you got? Oh, no, that's it. Two cool. Yeah. Alright, so my first question is Have you. It's a truth to drink. Yeah, I know. Have you ever got it in in your mom bed? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to drink? <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the game, man. I know you're not gonna tell, oh. but that that basically answers your question. Mm -hmm. right? I don't so think y'all know. You are so dirty. So dirty. Your turn. Is it true <clears throat> that? You had sex with your ex after October 13th, 2013. <laughs> <laughs> that is so damn false. That's false. Very false. Oh, what is it? What is next? Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's false. Um, <clears throat> my last question is, is it true Or <laughs> you play so much. That's why I got a good question for you. Are you playing? Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Do you eat ass? <laughs> what no. do you? I don't eat ass. No. What I um, caress your cheeks? Yes. Have you ever ate ass? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. Have I? <laughs> People ain't gonna be calling me booty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you grown. Grown woman. Have I ever ate ass? What do you consider eating ass? Eating like ass. Like licking the, the, yep, licking the dookie shooter? <laughs> What do you call it? Why would you call oh. it like that? <laughs> That's so disturbing. What do you call it? Like, that is so disturbing. I mean, if I turn you over, I'm going to kiss and, you know, <laughs> correct you. You're going to drink or you going to say it. Because at this point, I don't know what you're talking about. I cannot. Go with your last question. Which is which? Because they both look the same. You could be over this here finessing me. This guy's a me go. Mm. <coughs> Have you ever <laughs> had sex in your dad's basement? <laughs> Why are you drinking? <laughs> Why are you drinking? My basement. I don't think you ever had a basement. <laughs> Oh man, that was funny. Well, that is the end of this video, y'all. That was fun. It was. We gonna wrap it up. We gonna wrap this up and maybe we'll have. We'll stop. Maybe we can dead the three week drought. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be really nice. Um, we hope y'all enjoyed this video. Okay. If y'all sure want us to do another one, let us know down like, in the comments. Y'all have to add truth. Like, right. we, we want some the real juicy questions. And they was like, like, the questions y'all was asking people, and maybe we should come up with our own like juicy questions. Right. Probably, I, I would probably do that. Because I was waiting on like threesome questions. Right. And, like, like, nobody got juicy. Maybe mm -hmm. you should have put juicy or freaky edition or something. Because maybe they was like, oh, I don't know. I'm old questioning y'all like half a babe because I'm curious. Have you ever thought about having a threesome? Yes. When? I've thought about it. When? But will I actually have a threesome? No. Well, when and why? When have you thought about it and why won't you have one? Um, I don't know. I 
feel like I've always thought about it. It's just something like that specific... you just think about. Yeah, I feel like everybody should do it once in their life. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did I think about it? No, why won't you have one? Oh, why won't I have one? Because I'm married. And I don't want nobody touching my woman. Mm. It won't end well. As soon as I hear you make one ant, mm -mm. that's a wrap. But that's it. And there you guys have it. <laughs> no threesomes this way. No, ma'am. Um, so, yeah, we hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all want a part two, y'all gotta ask us some 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 questions, like some real questions. Y'all was asking us like parenting questions. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to drink and talk about the kids. Right. No, we trying to kick it. But, but um, it was fun, though. It was. Because you ain't here, no Cali girl. I can't wait I to did. see you on <laughs> No, Cali is a different, like a whole different video. Yeah. Like, I'm she her you. own video Literally. every time. We're going to do just like recording her for the day. Y'all going to see what I'm talking yes. about. Like for real. But we love y'all. We, we appreciate y'all. We hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you have not, make sure you subscribe like this video if you i mean thumbs this video up if you liked it and leave some comments down below yeah we don't promote underage drinking at all no drinking and driving at all make sure you're 21 or older before you pick, pick up, up any type of alcohol, alcohol. yeah it's <laughs> about a liquor bottle or just don't and drink at all we, anyway whatever we go through we get through <laughs> it's so cute be sorry